Thanks far much for one path ranch. If you saw the video where we put our cream leg bars into this coop, um, they were fine and we came out I came out here to do my chores the next morning and we noticed this gaping hole. The wiring is fine underneath the rat we it looked like raccoon prints. They're gone now because of the wind. But it looked like raccoon prints and we thought that it was trying to get jump underneath but couldn't. But then we later on noticed that there was blood on the perches and we were like, oh, that's from the raccoon. It must have splattered up there. from try He got cut by the wiring, and that's why he ran away. But then do my brother was um, looking at the chickens, and he noticed that there was blood on their feet. So we came out here and checked, and it turns out that the raccoon, they were a little tad too young. They were in front on the door, and the blood on the perches was because the raccoon was scratching and ripped off a few of their toes, and they didn't know they were a little young, so they didn't know that it was on the perches, and that's where the blood was. So they jumped up there, and that's probably why the raccoon left, because he realized he couldn't get to them. And then that same day, or no, no, the next day, we came out here. My dad was looking for eggs on our neighbor's property. We're good friends with him, and sometimes they lay there. And we noticed that Mrs. Boots, um, the Silky, and her family were here, and there's only three. And we were like, what the heck? And then my dad came back a few hours later from checking eggs there, and he would, he had found the other member of the uh, our rare breed chickens clan. It had got eaten by a hawk because you could tell because raccoons um, rip off, open the insides, but they don't eat the head. But hawks rip off the head and eat everything so it was definitely a hawk and it got to them so right now we have only three of them and let's go take a peek at the um cream leg after the n incident we moved our three cream leg bar chickens back to the coop and i'll try and get, see if i can get you a sneak peek so whenever we found out that so two of them are really bad this one has one on one gone on one foot this one only has three gone but then this one is the worst um, we're for this one Oh, poor buddy. Had the worst. He has one from one and then three from this one. Um, he, it's, we're, we thought we were gonna, whenever we found out that we were really upset because we incubated them. We thought we might have to put them down if they couldn't walk the right way. But then, um, but then um, we realized that they could walk around and be perfectly fine. But another thing, uh, another another thing is um, the re there's no really cure for growing back toes, of course. But right now we're spe um, um, spraying them with this special vet spray. Farm boy, or farm guy, come help me. Just spray it three, two times around the foot. So you just spray it every morning and night. Get this a couple one times. Good. Get the other one a little bit more. Good. Nah, yeah. So there's not really any cure, but whenever we Can do I that. Get the other male and we'll do that. Yeah, no, right. I don't think there's anything. But there, you do this twice a day, and it will help them. We, but they can eat and drink perfectly fine. There's, we'll just have to give them some extra tender love and care. You want to hold the female for a girl? You can get her. You can. You can But she, but she, uh, she didn't get hurt at all. She probably, she probably, the male probably protected her, her. Helped her get up to safety first. But so those are our chickens. We'll give you guys more updates on them. Um, I'm far more the Long Path Ranch along with my two helpers. Um, this is Long Path Ranch signing out.